Hello everyone and good day to you all. I hope you are doing well and welcome back to Building Education Technology. Dear friends, today uh, we shall see one AutoCAD problems okay, sent by my friends to solve me. Okay? And then we will see how to solve that one, okay, that problem and the procedures and the methods of solving that problems okay uh, one of my friend uh, from my i don't know from where but i got it uh, a message from whatsapp okay he sent me um autocad problems and then he asked me to solve that one okay so let me show you what's once so what kind of problem is that okay so here i have a test photos okay, which he, he has sent me so this is question number 27 something like that okay so if you can see it or not i don't know okay i will read it out uh, in autocad we see single command which give coordinate of all points periphery and area so this was the uh, questions okay i mean problem which he has sent me yeah, uh, and then he requested me to solve this one. So I already, uh, I guess I have uh, told him the procedure to solve it. Or if not, then I will again um, like explain to all of you here in this video how to find it. Okay. So there is uh, three things that you need to find. Okay, from this drawing, you have to draw like this, and then. You have to find uh, coordinates of all these points A, B, C, D, and E. Okay, five points. This is polygon actually. So they have named it as A, B, C, D, and E. Okay, and then you have to find periphery. Periphery means the perimeter. Okay, length of all the points. Okay, and area you have to find of this object. Okay, that two in single command. Okay, not divide differently. Okay. Not, uh, I mean like area command you have used and find out the area and then you have found uh, land differently okay perimeter I mean and then coordinate in from different command not like that okay you have to use single command and then you have to find all this um, what we call uh, coordinates of all point peri periphery and areas okay that you have to find from single command itself so friends uh, there are like um, several methods or uh, like so many commands to find area and periphery and coordinates also okay but to, i will show you both different commands as well and then the single commands also to find all these coordinate points periphery and areas as well okay so first of all uh, let us see uh, i mean let us draw a polygon like this somewhat similar to this okay it, <clears throat> it may not be the same okay? but we, we will draw somewhat like this okay so let us take aside this image here and then this is this is polygon so i will take polygon common okay from menu if you can choose it okay you, you come here okay in a home panel <clears throat> okay here in draw section okay in draw section you will find here this arrow small arrow drop down if you click it here and you will find two options rectangle and polygon you need to click to polygon because it is polygon only having five sides so click to polygon and here it is asking to enter number of sides since this is polygon we need to uh, enter five number of sides see we are uh, here already it is there five okay if it is six side you, you need to enter six if it is four side you need to enter four okay like that according to your like what we call needs okay so here we need five sides so we will enter five and then you press enter from your keyboard okay now specify center of polygon okay so you need to just click anywhere here on the screen okay you click it 
and then you select any of these options okay i will select first one and specify the radius radius you just drag it like that okay since this is a random drawing okay we shall drag it like that without uh inputting any radius okay so randomly we will drag it like this and then we will click here okay that will be our radius so see we got our polygon now okay this is somewhat same but not same okay but just to show you uh, means um, how to find those coordinates periphery and area in single command okay i have just taken like this okay it is not a exact join with this one, okay <clears throat> so just let us name like this a b and c huh? like that of the image so to like put text like that you just go to here you can either give multi multi line text or single line text okay any one of them you can choose but i will choose single line here okay so to like hmm, a give a uh, name a you need to click here you specify height and you drag your length for importing multi line sorry single line text okay so name it as a and then click here to give b and click here to give c and then here b and here e and press here just scrap it okay so let us adjust this one d drag it here drag it here yes okay so here we have given a b c d and e sets okay five sets uh now let us go to the solutions of our problem okay so first of all i will show you how to find a uh, coordinates okay um, in different ways okay not from single command we are not going to find all the uh, you know what we call problems okay like coordinates periphery and area in single command first we will see how to find separately okay uh, from different uh, commands I mean. hmm. so uh, now coordinates okay let us uh, find uh, coordinates okay for finding coordinates you can um find by giving i d command okay or else go to utility and you just select this id point okay you click it here and come here you choose any point any any uh, uh, this corner and you just click either you click to b either you click to c or d e and uh, whichever coordinates you need to find that you need to just click and see what's that uh, coordinate of that point okay so here the coordinate of b is minus 45.311 c and in y axis 73.0303 and in z axis 0 0.0003 okay like that so similarly if you want to find c just press enter and press to corner of the C and you will find the coordinate of the C. See it is here minus 41.0312 and 59.8574 and there is zero. Right? So like that you can continue. Okay. That is uh, individually we are finding, not in a single command. Okay. Now if you want to find areas and all, there is different method. Okay. Uh, finding area, hmm, I have uh, already made one video in my last uh, uh, previous videos, okay, uh, I will give you the link in i button, or else you can search by going to playlist and you can see there. I have uh, given five different methods to find areas of an object, okay. So I'm not going to explain you here how to find area and all, okay. So we have seen um, methods to find coordinates, okay, from uh, different commands. Now we will see how to find all of these in single command. 
apply uh, coordinates periphery and area of this object okay this is the our final and the main motif of our tutorials okay and then the solution for this problem okay so um pay attention now we are going to find uh, the coordinates when periphery and area of this object okay so to do that there is one single command which you can find everything coordinates your land periphery area etc etc okay so that command is nothing but list okay so list is the single command we uh, with which i mean list is the single command with which you can find all that coordinate points periphery and area in one single command right so your answer will be the list okay in this year you can write list now let us see practically how to do that first of all to find your coordinates periphery and area in single comma you just click your polygon okay you select it and then i told you that list command is the one to find all this coordinates point periphery and area so you write list or you can write the shortcut uh, command from your keyboard li okay l i or else you can write the full also list l i s t list okay so here it's appearing list okay so just press l i and then press enter you see the magic now see list one okay this is your uh command you have input it just now okay so list one and then you see here first you will see area okay area of this object it's uh, it's uh, 330.0669 square meter since uh, this i uh, have selected you need as meter okay so it is 330.0669 square meter now periphery we need okay so this is the periphery that is perimeter okay and then coordinates this is the coordinate that you needed okay see at x x is minus point five two point two three six eight and and y exists fifty one point seven one six one like that okay so we had five sides there is five coordinates of five sides so one two three four five like that. okay now if you want to know this exists uh, sorry this uh, coordinates belongs to which side whether it is for b or a or c or d okay so you, you to find that one i already uh, uh, have shown you in my beginning of this tutorial okay you can find that uh, which uh, means this is the first one this first one belongs to which side okay to find that coordinate you can go to utility and press it point and click anywhere okay so you can verify that one from that list command okay so this this is the this uh, this is in that like that. Okay. so i hope uh, you, you have understood and i hope i could explain you nicely okay or maybe <laughs> the main motive which i just told you just before finishing this one is li command to find all your coordinates and periphery and area okay so friends that's all and it's very easy uh, if you have any problems or if you could not understand anything okay uh, maybe like what uh, my explanation maybe <laughs> you couldn't understand okay because my pronunciation and then like may not be like uh, others okay my mind and your pronunciation is maybe different so you can ask me in the comment section if you have any thing to ask okay so next time we shall see the next problem and if you have anything problems like that you can send our comment down and i will try to make video on that okay so friends for today that's all uh, please friends uh, share this uh, videos and give your comments and then do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get notifications for uh, updates okay 
since I used to upload every day useful videos for civil engineers. Okay, and most importantly, job vacancy post. Okay, I do upload it most of them. Okay, so please, friend, do subscribe and press the bell icon for notifications. Thank you and see you. Bye bye.